Welcome back to another quick tip Tuesday. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create custom icons in Cadence using Canva Pro, Cadence Blocks Pro and iComoon.io. Okay, so just a note before we begin, we are using the Cadence Blocks Pro plugin and the Canva Pro package. We are going to be using Canva to create the images that we are then going to turn into icons and upload to our Cadence website. You don't need to use Canva to do this. You can use Illustrator or Photoshop or anything similar. All you need to do is to be able to create SVG files. Okay, so let's dive right on into Canva. First thing we're going to do is we're going to click create a design in the top right. We're then going to click on custom size and we're going to go for 1080 by 1080 pixels. It's a nice square size and we're going to create two to three or four icons. And the nice thing with Canva is if you haven't purchased an illustrator file online with a couple of different images you can use as icons you can always use the elements in canva and there are so many different images that you can choose from that you can create icons with okay so I'm going to go for kind of a Christmas theme here so I've recently used these ones but what you can do is if you're in canva just type in Christmas click enter and you'll see how many come up here on the left hand side that you can use. And the nice thing is if you, for example, choose this one, which is what I'm going to go with, then it also recommends ones that are pretty similar. So I can click see all and then I've got a whole bunch that I can choose from there as well. OK, so the first thing is I'm going to click on one that then pops into my board and I'm going to just resize it and make it as big as the board. And then I'm just going to come to position here in the top right, click center and click middle. Then I'm going to click add another board, but I'm going to go back to the first one and I'm just going to give it a name. So let's call it Christmas or just tree. Let's call it tree. Okay, then we're going to go to the next one and that's a nice snowman and let's just resize it, position it in the center and the middle and then give it snowman. And then we're going to click add page and then we're going to do that for a couple more. Okay, so once we are happy with our images, we're then going to come up to the top right here. We're going to click share. Then we're going to click download file type. We're going to click this drop down and we're going to go for SVG and we're going to make sure it is a transparent background and then we're going to click download. So as I mentioned before, if you don't have the free version of Canva, that's OK. You can create these on Illustrator, Photoshop or any other design files that you have that can create SVG files. So let's name this Christmas icons and then we are going to click save. I already have one, so I'm just going to replace that file and then that we download as a zip file. And if we open that, we can then see all of our icons there. So the next step is to use icomoon.io to turn these images into actual icons. So we're going to go to icomoon.io. We're going to click on this icomoon app and then what we're going to do is we're going to select all of our pictures and we're just going to drag and we're going to add them to the library here. Then we're going to select the all of these pictures here. Then we're going to click generate font and then before we download our font, we're going to come to preferences and we're going to change the font name. So let's just change that to Christmas and click close. We're then going to click download. That's then going to download a zip file. We're going to click save and then we're going to extract our zip file. And you will see if we open the zip file. We've got the selection file and that is what we're going to be uploading to Cadence to create these custom icons. So we're going to go to Cadence here, come to the dashboard. And remember, this is the Cadence Blocks Pro plugin. So make sure you install and activate and set up that plugin first. And then once you do that, you'll see Cadence Blocks here on the left hand side. And then you're going to click on custom icons here. Now, what we're going to do at the top here is we're going to click add new custom icon. We're going to give it a name. 
and then we're going to upload that selection file. So we're going to click upload an icon file and then we're going to click browse and then we're going to find our file and we're going to select this selection file and then we're going to click open and we're going to click upload. So once we click upload, we will see all our icons there, which are almost ready for us to use. And we also have an option to show only these icons. So if you wanna keep everything on brand and if you're working with a client or something like that and you only want them to use these specific icons, you can select this to true and then all of these standard cadence icons will go away. I'm just gonna leave it as false for now and then I'm going to click publish. Now let's go ahead and we can either create a page or a post. Let's just create a page. We're gonna click add new and we're gonna give it a title and then we're going to choose a block to add these icons to. So let's use the list block. So we've got the icon list and we're going to create items here, enter Okay, so we've created our list. Now on the right hand side, we're gonna to go to edit all icon styles together. We're gonna to click the cross here and we're gonna click this drop down. Once we click the drop down, there we go, you can see our icon. So let's choose the boot and we can change the icon size to whatever size we want. And now we can do it with the other icon block. So there we go, and we can click the cross there, and we can select the snowman. And that's the process of creating custom icons using the Cadence Blocks Pro plugin, Canva, and the Ico Moon app. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial video. If you want more like this, then be sure to subscribe to my channel. I share lots more quick tips on using Cadence, WordPress, and creating a website that you love. And I'll see you soon for another Quick Tip Tuesday.